Hey, what's going on guys? This is Trent Hayes. So today I want to talk about how to get the 1975's guitar tone. Their guitar tone is very specific and it's very 80s reminiscent. There are four key elements that you need to be able to capture that sound. So we're just going to hop right into it and I'm going to show you what we got. So one of the first characteristics that I noticed about their guitar tone is that it's very single coil based. I've looked into their gear and seen what they're using. They don't use strats a lot of time for live use, even though they have in the studio. They're pickups that are very similar to like a strat style guitar, and they just have that bright, chimey kind of thing that only like a single coil pickup can get. The next element that I think is crucial to the guitar tone is the way they use compression. So when they use compression, they use a lot of it, and it gives it this very tight and squished sound. Here's an example of that. That's the intro to Love Me. And you can hear it's just super squished. Without the compressor. The compressor really just pulls everything in super tight. The next element that's super important to the tone is their use of chorus. Chorus is a modulation effect and it gives it that 80s vibe. That super like spacey, kind of warbly sound. So in the part of it sound like when you're dialing in chorus trying to get these kind of guitar tones, I would highly suggest just using a lot of it and something with kind of like a faster rate. The bigger the depth and the rate is, it's just going to intensify the sound and just make it sound super vibey and like super 80s. <laughs> So don't be afraid to really push that effect. It's definitely going to help it stand out in the mix and help your tone stand out. The fourth element to their guitar tone is spring reverb. Now there's different types of reverbs. Uh, a really common one is hall, and that is more of like an open sound and more of like a modern reverb. Spring reverb for me is just very 80s and very like old school. I'm going to turn off the rest of the effects so you can kind of hear the reverb. So these are the main effects that I'm using to capture these guitar tones. So one thing you should keep in mind is that the guitar tone that you're hearing on recordings or hearing even live, it has been mixed and it's went through different mics, outboard gear uh, for recording. It's been mastered. So the EQ has just shifted a ton from where it was originally recorded from. So whenever I'm trying to recreate someone's guitar tone, I try not to stick to any rules. I use a Kemper so I can get kind of, I can get pretty specific with the type of amps that are used, but I still don't even stick to exactly maybe what they used. I'll just use really what sounds good for me. Even if I picked up, you know, Matty Healy's guitar rig and I start playing. It's actually, it's actually Matty if we're going to do it properly. Okay. My guitar playing is not going to sound like his, you know. Everything from like the way you hold your pick, to you know, the way you're pressing down the strings. Like there's so many variables that change guitar tone. So whenever you're, you're diving down the rabbit hole of tone, just keep those things in mind. Ultimately, you just wanna use your ear to make things sound good and don't try to hold yourself to any limitations. One thing I used that was a little outside the box was I used a, a one-way phaser on my Kemper and it just gave it this different kind of like uh, open vibe, especially for this intro part. Here's the guitar tone with it off on it makes a small difference if you can hear it like on um on like stereo speakers you can kind of hear like the width changes and that's probably something that they didn't use but whenever i was tweaking the tone i was like hey this actually sounds kind of cool and it it's kind of giving it a different element so that's how i go about getting tone uh you know I, the first things i listen to is what kind of pickups do I think they're using? And then I'll ask myself, is the guitar signal compressed? Is it very open? 
And then from there, I'll get into the way the drive sound and just start shaping from there, shaping EQ, and then like what kind of reverbs match. But at the end of the day, I'm just using my ear to guide me on that journey and just getting to a point to where my guitar sounds good for me. I hope this helped guys. I had a ton of fun trying to recreate these guitar tones. And just let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.